I'm Jason Grenauer. As part of our coverage marking 25 years since Columbine, one of the stories I was involved in telling was a story of coming together, a story in kindness that happened at Columbine Hills Elementary School. Now that school had been collecting pennies as part of a math lesson. The students found a new reason to collect and donate those pennies to the effort to rebuild the high school library. That elementary school ultimately collected and donated 500,000 pennies. 25 years later, we spoke to the teacher who started that drive, former students, and the mother of Lauren Townsend, who was involved in the fundraising efforts. They all still have a connection to those coins as a result. You know, I've uh, picked up pennies off the ground since, since that happened, um, since 1999. And, and it always reminds me of, of the students that I had. And I will almost get hit in traffic sometimes trying to like pick up the penny in the crosswalk or I'm always at like the grocery store like whoop, there's one, gotta grab it. Like I will not go a place without and leave a penny behind, yeah. I'm now finding out, listening to these other interviews, I'm finding out why I can't find so many pennies on the ground anymore. <laughs> because my husband and I pick up pennies all the time. And some people say, oh, don't pick it up unless it's like, Heads up, it's not, it's not lucky unless it's heads up. Oh no, a penny is a penny is a penny and it's important. You can find our full story on that penny drive and its lasting impact up right now on Denver7.com. I'm Jason Grenauer, Denver 7.